Now let's talk a little bit about uh, the way that you sing inward. One of the ways you sing inward, a lot of people, you know the old uh, expressions, drink the tone in, right? Singing is inhaling. And uh, we did a video here the other day, or I did one the other day called Inhaling the Voice, Inhalare la Voce. And I gave someone the origin where it stopped, where it started with the breath stop and you hold something in front of your mouth and so forth. Well, I'd like to carry on with that a little bit. And I'd like to do some breath stops uh, if you're inhaling and you go, and you know, now I'm going to use this inhaling the voice method. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to stop it. It has a name, the Muller Maneuver. And I go, and now relax. That is a pure inhalation method with a breath stop. If I exhale, I go, and there's the breath stop, the famous funnel breath stop. It's used, you can hear it on recordings of, of, uh, of many of the great singers. They'll do a preset, or you hear the cutoff. Ah, 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 ah. But we want to use this one on the inhalation method. So you hear me stopping suddenly? Franco Corelli and Jerome Hines used to do it uh, backstage at the Metropolitan Opera, and you would hear them doing it noisily. They'd go, <sighs> and Jerome Hines sang the Met over 50 years and never had a vocal problem doing that. It didn't hurt anything. I mean, sound terrible, <laughs> but it doesn't really hurt anything because it's the breath stopping process uh, inhaling against a closed throat. And using these, when I when I studied with Helga Lossfang, he used to scream at me and say, the flanks, the flank, the flanken, the flanken. Where are the flanks? Where's your flank activity? Right? No, I wasn't doing it. So this is one of the ways that he got this sucking in thing down here in the lower back to, to work in a way that we could become, that I could become aware of it. So you'd go, if you do Corelli's method, like you did as a master class, you go, and then you stop it. Wherever I stop it <gasps> becomes the point of phonation. And I sing on that little staccato point. So I go <gasps> If I were exhaling, I'd go <sighs> So what we really want to really work on today is this inhalation process and its many possibilities. If you're gonna, we have talked a little bit about Italian method and German method. If you use the German method, you attack while you're still breathing in. You're going, you can certainly sing that way. You can sing with the breath stop. What I want to add today to our repertoire of stops and inhalation methods is what they call sliding backwards, sliding back. So you go, ah, uh, ah, uh, just like taking a raw egg or pouring oil, olive oil down your throat and letting it run down and it's, it absolutely slides Backwards, like a water slide at the park. You go down it and you just slide and the voice goes down the back of your neck and does the slide. Geely used this a lot. Uh, my old teacher was great friends with Geely and Lauli Volpe used it some. So it's a pretty successful method in some people's voices. Uh, I think, uh, uh, I'm not sure... I'm, I'm not sure who else used it. Those are the two that I know about, and I don't want to say if, 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 it, if, if I can't be sure of it, so I'm not going to say anything about other singers that supposedly talked about it a lot and said they did it. So, but, you know, if you're curious enough, you can find out a lot of this stuff for yourself. You can do research and find out for yourself uh, who did what. Because, uh, let's face it, none of these ideas were invented by me. Everything that I try to pass on, I'm passing on from some great singer who, 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 uh, that I met when I was a student growing up. And this, uh, this sliding method 
uh, uh, this backsliding method I got peripherally from uh, people. Uh, my teacher knew Geely very well, for instance, and you could get you could get a lot of. Um, I met uh, Giovanni Martinelli. I met a lot of the great singers from the, from ancient times for for us back when I was. I'm 80 now. I was uh, 20. Two when I met them. So you're talking about a long time ago. And I met uh, Martinelli when he was 77. So we're talking about many, 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 many years back when they studied. So let's talk about this sliding back. So I go, ah, oh, and I feel like my voice is running down the back of my neck like, like a raw egg. And you especially use that if you have a lot of... Uh, uh, singing to do above the staff, you know, uh, there's uh, the, the cabaletta from uh, the last scene of uh, Lucia di Lammermoor by Tony Senti. It's got a whole series of uh, phrases he has to sing. All of that is sliding opportunity. And I can just let this stuff just slide down if you do uh, Fidelio. Beethoven, floor stands are you? Leonor and the gardens of life. Feel me so fry, so fry hard. You just keep going, ah, oh, and let it slide down your back. You can do it. If I sing leader, I can go. Ich hör dein Bächlein rauschen wohl aus dem Felsen quell. Or I can do the German uh, preset form of inhalation, which means I attack while I'm breathing in. That one puts me slightly more in a slightly rounder, darker sound. And do I want that? Does that mean it's artificial? Well, yes, in a way. The breathing is affecting my phonation. The phonation is supposed to be A, E, E, O, U. And I find myself going, ah, oh, eh, eh, oh, ooh, I'm talking like that a little bit. So it's a little bit for, let's say you're an Italian speaker. And you say, Dam Manatata Cafe. And then you hear somebody going, Dam Manatata Cafe. Well, to them it would sound artificial. We might like it. We might, even, might not even notice that in some cases it'd be an improvement on, on the way uh, some of us uh, make our vowels. So if I'm going to draw in, and all of a sudden, I'm, my voice is getting a little bit like this, and I'm trying to sing Tamino, and the voice is getting a little bit uh, bigger and too heavy. So is it, is it a good way to make a bigger sound? Who knows? See? If I'm doing Freischutz, what do I do? I say, I'm doing something like that. Uh, I'm drawing in while I sing, and believe me, you can sing all day long like this, and your voice will never get hoarse because there's no air moving up and out. All the air is going down and in. If I use a sliding method on these, I go, and all I'm doing is letting it slide down the back of my neck, and I don't have to distort my uh, phonation. I can make it sound like I'm talking. You know, I can go, oh, and the words sound clear. How are you today? It's so nice to be with you today. Would you rather eat in a restaurant or would you rather stay home? And you can understand any word I'm saying. And of course, that will apply to any language. If I want to sing uh, French, I'll sing, no, in other words, the words should be uh, unaffected, ideally, by anything I do in, uh, that will affect my throat. I shouldn't breathe in a way that makes me spread my throat. I should breathe in a way that opens my throat vertically. I can say, stai, ah. Some people just use a smile. Nikolai Geta used a kind of a grimace like this. And he held it that way all the time. Tetrosini said, always smile. Just keep a smile on your face. Fernando de Lucia, considered the greatest of the bel canto tenors. Uh, always smile. He was criticized constantly for no matter how sad he was, he was always smiling. So if you do this, but if you look at, 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 at that, I can look happy this way. Or I can look sad that way. Or I can look angry that way. So really what, what really matters is what's happening and how I'm using my breath. If I'm going out, I'm going, 
Tombe degli avi miei, l'ultima danza, non a stirbe felice, de raccogliete voi. Now what if I do the same thing? Uh, sliding down my neck. I'm going to swallow a raw egg here. So I'm going to go, Tombe degli avi miei, l'ultima danza, non a stirbe felice, de raccogliete voi. You know, what if I use a German attack method? Some people actually prefer that sound because it's a little bit darker, you know? Uh, I remember when Franco Corelli, right at the end of his career, started using the bowing the neck technique. It's this one. And you bow your neck. Well, this is what happens when I do this. He's used to sing like this, with everything back in, his, in, the, in, the, in the nape of his neck, right here. He'd go like this. And he used this all the time. Now, if I do that, you hear the vowel is clear. Now, what happens if I bow my neck? Now, listen. All of a sudden, my whole phonation has changed, and everything's changed. It's much darker and fatter. Is that good? Some people actually prefer it. He did it because he wanted to sing, you know, at the end of his career, he wanted to sing the, the big dramatic parts. So, he would sing, uh, I remember he sang, uh, I heard him sing some Otello, and he, sing, he went, he'd sing like this. Ora per sempre addio, santa memoria. Well, he blew a vocal cord, damaged a nerve, and couldn't sing anymore. That's the danger. Once you start messing around, some of the singers sing like this, you know. You try, you're told to keep your chin down on your, like this. Now, what does that do? Where's my resonance going to be? You hear my speaking voice? It's already getting heavier. So I'm singing like that. Oh. So the way I sang when I sang the bass, university. Use tracheal resonance. Oh, oh, oh. Well, what if I want to say ah? <laughs> you know, I can't. Oh, 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 oh. Everything is just like this. What if I look up and go, ah, 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 ah. Now I can say ah. I'm not doing anything. So I'm going to slide down and go slide back and go. I don't have to do anything artificial because I'm letting the thing just slide right down to my diaphragm. It's not even a hard style technique. I'm not even, I'm not presetting. I'm not doing anything. I'm just relaxing, like this. Ah, and I'm letting gravity take it down the back of my neck, just like I would if it were if it were olive oil or a raw egg. Ah, so I can sing that way just by sliding down. In van, in van, nascondo la mia vera tortura. The words are very clear. I don't have to worry about anything, right? What do I really have to do if I'm going to do all this stuff? I have to breathe a certain way. The whole secret is breathing into the lower back. And now I have something to feed the front. If I breathe here, uh, if I pull my stomach in while I'm singing and I, and, I, and I fill out my stomach and now I start to sing and pull my stomach that way of breathing is automatically putting my voice in my nose and now I'm going to have to modify the vowel, especially in the high notes. So I go. A lot of people love that sound. The middle voice doesn't carry, and the high notes would get as big as a barn. But what if I would breathe, like Caruso said in his book, pull the abdomen in and do a contrary motion when I sing, which means I just let it slide down. I go, ah, and then every 
notices my middle voice is not in my nose. <laughs> my resonance is now sitting up here in the true mask just because I slid back. And when I do that, the angle of my soft palate is like this. And my, my uh, pharynx, my upper pharynx is like this. My lower pharynx is like that. And I breathe and it's open my throat vertically. And all I do is just go. And now I'm going to slide down the back of my neck. How do I do that? It's not a mystery, guys. It's a biomechanical certainty that if I do that, this will happen. If I do this, that will happen. It's very, very predictable. It all has to do with breathing and nothing here. Breathing and nothing here. If I breathe with my stomach going out, and I start to sing, ah, uh, the voice goes here. Uh, so now I have to modify, I have to yawn, I have to do something, see? So if I yawn in the middle of the voice, I go, uh, so the minute I lifted my soft palate, my nose closed, and now I'm up here in the mask and I've got some roses, but listen to the way I'm phonating my mouth. Now my, my pronunciation's all artificial. Hello, how are you? I could talk like that all the time, couldn't I? Huh? How are you? Oh, it's so nice to see you. How do you do? But is that really what I want to do? Breathe in. With the belly going in and everything filling up down at the bottom and the back. And I go, Hi there, how are you? It's so nice to see you. I don't have to talk in my nose. Oh, I don't have to talk in my nose at all. You can understand me. What am I doing? So you watch Babe Pablo the guy up at Julia in the master class. Somebody said, How do you breathe? They said, Well, you breathe behind you and then you go, like a baby here, to push, push, push. <laughs> well, everybody went crazy. What do you mean? The whole Juilliard's been talking, talking about being filling this up there when you breathe and then pulling it in while you're singing. Well, what happens if I do that? <laughs> there we are, again, back in the nose. Such a little for a bang on me, And I end up singing like some kind of artificial baritone. See? But what if I just breathe down my lower, in my lower back? I don't even have to move my stomach if I don't want to. I get more compression against my lower back if I pull my abdomen in and I eliminate it. There are one, two, three places to breathe, belly, chest, and lower back. We want to breathe in the lower back. Not everybody thinks so, but this is what Caruso thought and he mentioned breathing 60 times in the Dover edition of his book of 32 pages. He mentioned breathing 60 times. So he was obsessed with breathing and obsessed with breathing way down his lower back. So if I do that, now I'm just going to let it slide down the back of my neck. What am I doing? See? 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 Bravo, come, come, And I just wanted to point out today, this is like another step, another piece of useful knowledge that has to do with inhaling the voice. This is all based on the inhaling the voice technique, if you want to call that process, concept, right? So I'm going to Breathe in and put on a breast stop. Bravo, America! I'm going to breathe in and put a breast stop forward. Bravo, America! I'm going to breathe and sing while I'm still breathing in. A lot of people like that one the best. Let's see. Then I'm going to breathe in and go sliding down the back of my neck, okay? And 
And you know, should we always think which one is the best sound? Well, it's awfully nice to do that, but what about getting through some opera that's four or five hours long? I mean, you know, Queen of Spades is four hours, Don Carlos is four hours, uh, my singing for Nuremberg is five and a half hours. What do I, do I really have to think about getting through these? Yes, and you have to be efficient if you're going to do that. What is the most efficient way to sing in terms of effort? Well, sliding down the back of your neck is just about as easy as it gets. So I go like that. Hi, how are you today? Hi, how are you today? This means this is my sovereign sin. So easy. What am I doing? See? La, 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 la. Ah, ah, ah. It just goes, ah. Right there. If I staccato these now, let's go through them and staccato them and see where the staccatos are. I'll, I'll start with the sliding down the neck. So I go, ah. <laughs> How are you today? It's so nice to be here. How are you today? It's so nice to be here. And all you do is talk on that little staccato point at the back of your neck. What about the breast stop? I'm fine. Would you like to go down, down? Then I'm going to have to start deciding when and where to use these things, right? Now, if I do the German, what I call attack the sound while you're still inhaling, I go. Today I'm fine, let's go down, down. Well, I think they all sound like me. See? I don't think I'm doing anything that is really changing me, but what if I were to bow my neck? Now where's my staccato? See? I'm still on that staccato point, but the whole process is now... Enlarged, shall we say. If I do the breath stuff forward, and I go, breathe behind me, and go, How are you today? Let's go down, down, and get something to eat. How are you today? I'm fine. The truth is, they all work. The reason they all work is they're all based on breathing into the lower back. As people grow up and get a little bit older, and they're all speaking a different language, we all phonate vowels differently. You know, uh, we try to think of the Italians for several reasons. One of them, of course, is that they say a, e, e, o, u, especially in high Italian, but they also have a legato. They say, how are you today? It's so nice to go downtown. I guess, I mean, you mean, would you like to stay home or would you rather go out? What, what would you like to do? And the voice is going, ah, and you take that little voice, that voice, and you go to slide it down the hill and you go, Oh, are you today so nice to be here? We can go out and get something to eat later. We're running everything together. Everything is legal to see more. Right? So I go, Legal in harmony, di blessed evil. Works like a charm, and I can sing on the staccato point in the back of my neck, and I don't have to do anything except just slide. It's what in karate they would call a soft style method because you use gravity and you use function and you don't preset or muscularly form any function. You did your work before you sing by breathing in and everything's like this. And I slide down the hill. See, I got all these other ways to sing in case I need them. And believe me, I've done a few performances in my life where I used every cotton picking idea I'd ever heard of because I was way, way uh, over my head in a place I shouldn't be. And I was always afflicted with something called lymph injectasia, which is another whole story, but it's a, it's a condition that, you, that you're born with. And it's always bothered me. And I've always gotten, when I get sick, I get sick right across here, right in that diaphragmatic area. So it used to inhibit me. And I had to find other ways to sing. Maybe why I learned so many different ways to sing. So anyway, the, uh, you notice that all of these, no lip action, 
Right? Like that. La la li la 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 li la 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 li la 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 li la ra 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 ha you da da I'm almost like a ventriloquist. I try to talk as much as possible and minimize all the action up here. I can still make all of my diction very clean. Right? If, I'm, if I have to sing German, I sing it like that. Or if I speak German. Es fällt mir manchmal ziemlich schwer, an die Liebe zu unglücklichen Mördern zu glauben. And I'm talking like that. Es fällt mir manchmal ziemlich schwer, die Liebe zu glauben. Ah, komm doch rein in die Menagerie. Ah, so you can sp speak any language by sliding down the hill. And if you practice staccatoing, you will get a, 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 a concept of small... I don't want to say small because the voice comes and hits you up here pretty hard and it doesn't seem exactly small. I've sung a lot of big operas and big theaters over big orchestras and I found out which ones carry the best and people come back and say, oh, it's so big in the back of the theater. But you're up there singing on the staccato point. So wherever I sing, I studied with Mario Domonico for about five months, his staccato point was here. And he would do what we're doing right now. He'd go, except he would place the staccato here. Ah, 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 ah. Un dia l'azzurro spazio guarda e profonda. See? Everything on the point, always on the staccato point, though. It was here. See? I can move it around. I can put it here. I can put it on my navel. Un dia l'azzurro spazio guarda e profonda. I can slide down the hill. Un dia l'azzurro spazio guarda e profondo. You can do all of these because the breathing in the lower back sets this thing free. And every time I take a breath, I have an opportunity to relax my throat. Can you imagine having a relaxed throat? I'm asleep. Oh, now I'm going to breathe in my back. Some of the guys make noises like Corelli and... Uh, Jerome Hines. So if I go, <laughs> where is that little? <laughs> Feel that? Now, if I relax that and maintain the, 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 the process that pulled me in in the first place, that drew me in, so I go, <laughs> <laughs> where is that? <laughs> where am I? Do that? So I would say, guys, that if you can practice this kind of stuff and set up some rules, though in the old days they had rules. The first rule was no action in the throat. So whatever I do, I'm not allowed to flex this. Anybody that says yawn or spread your throat or lift your old pile, it doesn't know anything about the old school of singing. The old school of singing was all forbidden. Everything was from here down, nothing from here up. If there's a difference in the modern school and the old school, the modern school is everything from here up. Lift your palate, focus, hold something in your tongue, uh, make a ski slope. Or you do nothing from here up and everything has to be done with breathing. All your formants, as my vocal scientist friends like to say, must be created in the old school by the way you breathe in. If I go, hey, I've created a certain set of formants that are going to really make me sound like a chipmunk. If I go... Now I've relaxed my throat completely. And now I'm going to sound. And where am I going to feel it? I can sing here. Or I can go. And slide down the back of my neck. Right? If I use the German method, I get I was talking in one of the video tapes about um, Leonard Warren, had the most magnificent voice you can imagine, had a voice big as a house and gorgeous. And he used to hold his tummy dead still, right? And then he would do what he called the pre-sneeze. So if, if I'm about to see, you see what I'm doing? Now what am I doing? I've lifted my soft palate up and forward. I've closed off my nose. And now the resonance will be in my nasopharyngeal cavity right here. So I'll say, L'alba se vada la luce l'ombra. I've used it and I know it works. And the question is, do you like it? And do you like to use it? Because it's absolutely valid way of singing. But you can hear that I breathe 
when this is, freezes, I can't move it. I can't breathe into it. So I have to breathe where? Well, if I don't move my chest up and down, the only place left to breathe is my lower back, which is what Leonard Warren breathes. So I breathe like that. I do the priest sneeze while I'm doing inhalation. So I go. And I sing like that. You see? And then if I sing something big, oh, ein Schwert, verließ mir der Vater, in fand das in höchster Not. Do I want to do that? You cannot do it for four hours. <laughs> or in some cases, five and a half hours. So you have all of these opportunities to find yourself, your own taste, your own artistic expression. Uh, you shouldn't be told what to do. You should learn to speak the languages fluently if you can, because it really does matter. Uh, the phonation matters so much that, that you've got to learn to speak the languages uh, fluently, ideally. So you don't have to form. You don't want to be shaping. Ah, oh, ooh, 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 ee, ee. You don't want to do that. You want to be able to go like that. Do I need more voice than a staccato? No. That's all I need. See, I go, Oh, 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 oh. And there I am. So I take a breath behind me. I'm going to slide down the back of my neck. What am I doing? So I would advise everyone to breathe way down in their lower backs and uh, not do anything. You use the breath, the inhalation, to relax all of this. And all of you guys who are, who, are, who are obsessed about the larynx, you'll notice that the larynx blows down when I breathe. See that? And when I start to sing, I don't hold it there. The staccato or the slide holds it down for me. Ha 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 ha! to hold my larynx in place. I'm breathing and I'm using my staccato point to, to size up the vowels and then I'm sliding down the hill, down the back of my neck and it works. Okay, I hope that helps and we'll see. Let me know. Bye-bye.